you know, he's going to have to go out there and, and win the starting job. Uh, but he's in a very good spot. We have a lot of confidence in him. Yes, Jason Smith going to be double learning. He's going to be saying quarterback. Yeah, Jason Smith's going to start out playing quarterback. And uh, we're going to give him a, a, an opportunity to try to win that job. And uh, that's what we approved him to do. And uh, he seems very excited about it. Is there a timetable for if he is not able to? There, there's no timetable. Uh, we're going to give him a fair shot. And we'll see how that goes. Well, Braden Smith start out at guard or a red tackle? Yeah, Braden Smith's going to start out at guard. Uh, he's going to start out at guard. Avery Young's going to start out at tackle. Um, and then, you know, we'll kind of go from there. You know, as far as Alex Cozan is concerned, uh, he is going to be limited. There will be some things he can do. Uh, he's not totally cleared, um, you know, to go full speed at this time, but he will do some things. Jordan Diamond uh, will also get some reps, and he'll be a, in a limited role uh, also. Who will be the first center? Uh, first center is going to be Austin Golson and Xavier Dampier. Both those guys will get opportunities uh, along with Deion Mix. Um, you know, those are the three guys that are competing for that job. What did, what did Golson do to really all of a sudden move him from a tackle spot to the center when Dampier had been there for a few years? Yeah, well, you know, we, we saw uh, in our bowl prep uh, that he was athletic enough to do that. And, uh, you know, so we gave him a few reps there. Uh, he looked uh, pretty good, and so you know, from a center standpoint, it's very important to what we do. Like I've said before, it's almost like another quarterback. You know, as far as everything we ask him to do with our no huddle scheme and the pace that we play, the ID and all that. So uh, we're going to give him an opportunity, uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, we're not confident in Dan Peter. I mean, uh, he's a guy that's got a lot of snaps. It just means that uh, those three guys will get opportunities, uh, kind of like the quarterbacks. I mean, we want to make sure those guys get equal opportunities as we're installing the base offense and uh, then we'll see how it sticks <coughs> out you know after that. Gus, is there is there a number one running back or would this be kind of Yeah, uh, we're gonna do like we did the very first year we we're here. You know, we got Rock, we got Peyton Barber, we got Javon, those guys will be rotated. We'll try to put those guys in equal situations, you know, equal situations with the first line, with the second line. Um, and we'll rotate those guys, all three of those guys we feel like have a chance to, to really be good in our system. Uh, you know, we're going to give them opportunity to show what they can do. You know, we're going to go a lot of uh, live. When we can go live in this league, we're going to go live, and those guys will get tackled. So we're going to have a, a really good uh, evaluation by the end of spring on all three of the guys. Gus, do you expect St. and True to be able to do anything this spring? Uh, he, he will be limited in, in a certain role. It's similar to Kozan and Diamond. Uh, he's not completely cleared. Uh, but um, but he, he's a guy that we're going to you know, get some work out of. How, how positive is it that you get Cozan uh, back out there doing, doing some things? No, I mean, it's very positive. Happen. You know, Cozan, you know, two years ago was one of our leaders. Uh, there's no doubt and his absence last year was, was definitely felt, um, not just from a playing, but a leadership. He's a, he's a great worker. Uh, our, our, his teammates have a lot of respect for him. So just by him being out there is going to be a breath of fresh air. How much do you go into this spring having a pretty firm grasp on what you want to do on offense and kind of install this spring? It's obviously going to be a little bit different from what you've had in the past the zone. Yeah, well, I'll say this. You know, last year we had a lot of guys coming back. We had a lot of good information about what we had. You know, there's a lot of uh, areas that are wide open. Um, so we're going to be very basic starting out. Uh, obviously, you know, we're putting in, installing a new defense too, so this is going to be really back to the basics as far as the way we install. Uh, and then we'll see how the progression, once you get to the midpoint of spring ball, you kind of uh, reevaluate how fast you want to go with the extra things. But, you know, you want to give each, get each one of these guys an equal opportunity to compete for a position. And as basic as you can be, it allows coaches a lot easier opportunity to evaluate, uh, a true evaluation for guys. You lost seniors at both age back and tight end. Are Chris and Chandler the top two there, or is uh, uh, Patrick Young or Gage Batten are they back in at age back? Or what's, what's yeah, that? well, you got you got the Cameron Petway and Chandler Cox. You got Chris Lane and Greg Hall. You know, as far as those positions are going to start out today, and we're going to give those guys equal opportunities. Um, you know, to show what they can do. Gage leave the program. Gage Batten is no longer with us. Uh, matter of fact, he hasn't been with us since the bowl. Um, decided to do some things closer to home. 
Just from a cleansing, just from a cleansing standpoint, from the way last season finished, how much as a coach do you look forward to just getting into the spring? And and, and is those are those two months tough for you, just as a you know, just as a pure football guy? Well, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, of course, obviously, you got recruiting in the middle of it, and then once the recruiting's over, then you can truly transition into the spring. And you know, this is really the first true day of the next year, so that's the exciting part. You know, from a coach's standpoint, that. You know, hey, last year, that's behind. Now it's time to move forward. Um, our coaches are extremely excited to get out there. Uh, you know, I think our players are excited, too. Uh, like I said, got a lot of uh, young guys out there, um, you know, that are ready and they're hungry. And uh, we're ready to see what they can do. I mean, just aside from just the pure football standpoint of what Will Muschamp brings, just from, just from a rejuvenation energy standpoint, do, do you guys feel, felt a little jolt since he's come in? No, there's no doubt about that. You know, he's a great. Uh, he's a, first of all, he's a true professional. Um, you know, he's one of the best in the business. So a guy like that gives a lot of people around him confidence. Not only as defensive coaches, but you can even tell the defensive players. So uh, you know, we're looking forward to today. We're looking forward to uh, the spring, and really seeing the improvement that we make from today until the last day of spring. Is Duke uh, coming? Is Duke coming into spring facing any additional punishment? No, he? no, he's in good standing, just like everybody else. You know, at this point. Obviously, it's you, Chef. He's back, but is, do you feel like there's a sense of responsibility for him to be a leader on the offense? Of the well, you know, I, I would say we ask a lot of our seniors each year, and he's definitely a senior. He's been with us one year and, and knows expectations, and uh, so we're going to ask him, along with the rest of our seniors, really to lead and guide this team. You know, uh, like we expect. Gus, during, during the ball practices, Rhett said that. Cameron Petway moving to H back was a, an experiment. So now is that a full time move or are you still just it's working? It's a full time move. And uh, at least at this point, I mean, he has running back skills and he can all, also do some running back, but uh, we're going to give him a chance to win that job. And uh, he did catch our eye in bowl practice. Um, it's something that he uh, is excited about and uh, you know, really feel like that uh, he gives us a lot of versatility You know, at that position. He catches the ball well, he's got running back skills. and. He is very big and, and very physical. Yeah. Josh Halsey played corner and safety last year. Do you know which one he's going to play mostly this spring? And is there any other guys in the secondary that are playing yeah, differently yeah, than they did uh, last year? Yeah, Coach Mustang is going to start him out at corner, uh, but he does have the ability to uh, to play safety, and uh, I think he'll move some people around too. That, that, you, know, you could uh, you could probably see Jonathan Ford play some corner too and safety. He just wants to make sure that, uh, you know, not only give guys opportunities, but to get, develop depth. And that's going to be a big factor, you know, coming into fall. And for yeah. Sav, who went this past year for the transfer, where does Trey Matthews fall at this point on the depth chart? Yeah, yeah. Trey's going to be at safety, and uh, he's going to be competing for one of those positions. Gus, how much can the, uh, the early enrollees benefit from being here for spring practice? Oh, it's, it's greatly. I mean, it gives gives those guys a chance, and really more importantly, it gives our coaches a chance to see them and uh, what they can and can't do, what they need to improve on, and uh, gives them a big advantage, you know, than going through 15 days of spring practice and showing up, you know, at the end of May. He's yeah. such a dynamic runner. How might the offense look a little different under Jeremy to take advantage of his strengths? Yeah, well, we're gonna we'll build around our starting quarterback, and like I said earlier, I mean Jeremy's the uh, you know the guy that's gonna take the first snap. He's got the most experience, and Jeremy's a good runner with his own route. Right now, he's not exactly like Nick, but uh, he's a very good runner. Uh, he throws the ball extremely well. Um, but you know, all of our quarterbacks are gonna have a run element. All, all these guys we put out there, we feel like. Uh, will be able to be efficient in the run game. I mean, compared to Nick, that's hard to, that's a really hard to compare. I mean, Nick's one of the better runners uh, from a quarterback standpoint, probably this league has seen. So, um, but, but all of them can run. The last two, two years, 